I am Lavanya, lecturer in English from Giraj Government College, Nizamabad. Yesterday, already I have started the fricatives for the first year students, second semester. Yesterday, already I have started this topic, but I have didn't completed. So today we are going to complete this topic, no? fricatives. Fricatives are nothing but that are uh, linked with the consonant sounds and also formed by the nor narrowing the vocal tract causing friction as the air passes through it. Fricatives are also continuant consonants. Continuant consonants means uh, in the examples whatever it may be you will take the fricatives. So in that examples it is a continue continuity uh, in the fricatives and also that continuity is in the uh, is linked with the consonants itself which means that one can continue making them without interruption as long as they has enough air in their lungs the most commonly found fricative is something like s sound so fricatives are the uh, totally nine english fricatives are there from that one is the voiced and one is the voiceless so what are the voiced and what are the voiceless yesterday we have learned right the nine fricatives are these v and f <laughs> sorry voiced th sound and unvoiced also th sound z sound s sound Sorry, S sound, Z H sound, S H sound, and also H sound. Sorry, I'm sorry. So these are the nine uh, English fricative sounds are there, and from these there are the voiced and also the voiceless. Yesterday we have learnt. Come to the articulation of fricatives. Of the nine sounds, four are voiced and five are unvoiced. Yesterday we have seen. The vocal cords vibrate when producing the voiced fricative sounds. For the unvoiced sounds, vocal cords do not vibrate. So for the voiced sounds, voiced fricative sounds, the vocal cord vocal cords vibrate means when you are pronouncing that uh, the, the voiced uh, what you call the voiced word or the voiced fricatives when you pronounce it so then uh, vocal cords are vibrated and for the unvoiced sounds when you pronounce so then the vocal cords are do not vibrate suppose place of articulations right uh, this table is very important not only for the fricatives and also plosives and also uh, what you call the nasals and uh, nasals and uh, plosives so it is very important so place of articulations right so this table you have to learn this table compulsory so uh, voiceless and also voice so voiceless are called the forties and voiced are called the lennies so remember that and uh, yeah labidental and dental and allovertal and uh, post allover alloveral and uh, glottal nothing but the vocal cords parts ma don't be in confusion these are the vocal cord parts so when you pronounce the voiced and also the voiceless fricatives so then it moves means it gives the sounds it gives that type of phonetics right so that's why I have kept the table. So, first one, labidental fricatives. So, what are the labidental fricatives? F and also V. F and V. So, what is the F and V? Labidental fricatives is when you pronounce the F or V, so your lower lip in contact with the upper teeth. Right? Already you are, uh, I am showing in the figure. You are seeing this figure. So labidental, when you pronounce the F or V, uh, so then you are giving only the, what you call the air, air passing out, right? So that air passing out with the help of the lower lip and it is contact with the upper teeth 
F, right, and V. Yes. The fricative voice is not very strong and barely audible. Example, the words with F are already yesterday I told that fan. Yes, fan. When you are pronouncing the fan, fan, so you are releasing the air outside. You are not pronouncing with your vocal cord, means in with, with your, uh, what you call, the neck. You are not pronouncing, just you are releasing your air and then you are pronouncing that fan. You are not stressing, your mouth is not stressing, just easily you are releasing from your mouth, that is the fan. Next, van, yes, van, the teeth upper teeth you are taking the help of the upper teeth and also the lower lip van 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 and the next one yeah saver saver and half and half and van so this the type of examples no this type of examples called certainly labiodent labio labiodental fricatives Nothing but the labiodental fricatives are F and also V because it gives only the A. We will release the A. It will not give or we will not stress the mouth or mouth and then we will pronounce. Just we will release the A outside. Next, yeah, second one. Dental fricatives. So what are the dental fricatives? Already yesterday we have learned that th sound and also the th but unvoiced and also voice right yeah so th uh, voice and also the unvoiced so the tongue is normally placed behind the teeth with the tip touching the inside of the lower front the teeth and the blade touching the inside of the upper teeth so I have shown in this figure, you are seeing in this figure, I think, yeah, see here, this is the labidental fricatives. So when the labidental fricatives, uh, when you pronounce the labidental fricatives, so then your mouth is in, in this stage, in, like this, right? And uh, when you pronounce the dental, right, uh, dental fricatives, so then your mouth will be, take the help of your uh, upper and lower teeth and upper teeth, right, behind the teeth. So, as shown in this figure, your mouth is uh, in this shape when you pronounce the dental fricatives, right? Yeah. So, dental fricatives. The tongue is normally placed behind the teeth. Yeah. The tongue is normally placed behind the teeth and with the tip, with the tip touching the inside of the lower front teeth and the blade touching the inside of the upper teeth. The air escapes through the gaps. The air escapes to the through the gaps between the tongue and the teeth. Yes, TH. When you pronounce the TH, thought, thought, suppose you, suppose you take the spelling, thought. So when you pronounce that, examples also there you have so the air is passing between the tongue and your teeth and examples yeah thumb thumb when you pronounce the thumb yes your tongue is placed behind your teeth and touching the inside of the lower front teeth right yeah thumb when you pronounce and thus 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 air air is escaping through the gaps between the teeth and also the tongue and either either yeah your tongue is touching the upper teeth and father father air is escaping between the tongue and teeth and also uh, what do you call uh, your tongue is touching the upper teeth and breathe yes breathe breathe yeah your tongue is touching the upper teeth when you pronounce this type of uh, what you call the words yeah. Dental fricatives are nothing but the voice th and voiceless th. Th, nothing but th. Next, aloeviral. Yeah, next one, aloeviral uh, fricatives. So, what are the aloeviral fricatives? Yes, and also z. So, when you pronounce the s and z, 
so your mouth is in the shape right the shapes are different types you are seeing i think when you are observing in these pictures so what is that air escapes through a narrow passage along the center of the tongue air escapes through narrow passage along the center of the tongue the sound is complete comparatively intense sound is comparatively intense examples see here example of the words yeah sip sip air escapes through a narrow passage along the center of the tongue right so you are air you are, you are not pass you are not passing the air outside you are taking the air inside when you are pronouncing this sip sip you are not passing the air outside right you are taking the air inside right next one yeah zip zip yes and facing facing sound is comparatively inside intense and yeah facing facing rise 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 escaping a uh, air is escaping through the narrow right along with the center of the tongue so tongue with the help of the tongue you are pronouncing this sip and zip facing praising yeah that is a praising ma and rice 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 next come to the post aloe vera fricatives post aloe vera fricatives already you have seen uh, what shows that uh, what you called the two symbols means two phonetics nothing but sorry ma phonetics so first one is the uh, what you called the voiceless and also sh Yes, and also uh, this one, the second one is the Z A, Z A, Z A. Nothing but the Z A sound, and this is the, yeah, Sha. Not the Sha also, Sha, Sha, Sha. Right? Yeah. Air escapes through a passage along the center of the tongue. The passage is little wider, and the lips are round. yes when you pronounce these uh, what you call the two uh, sh sound or the z uh, zu or z a sound so then the air passes through uh, the passage along the center of the tongue and also it is a little wider and the lips are rounded see examples russia yes russia russia so your your tongue is uh, moving round your tongue is moving roundly russia russia right so your tongue is moving roundly in your mouth and yeah measure 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 right your your tongue is uh, when you are pronouncing ma you can feel it when you are pronouncing you can feel it your mouth your tongue in which stage or in which situation it is there and your tongue uh, is uh, your tongue is uh, touching the teeth upper teeth or lower teeth or uh, do not touching any so you you can you can feel it ma when you are pronouncing you can feel it that your tongue and your teeth what from which uh, help right what the help you are taking which part you are taking the help and then you are pronouncing right your tongue is moving around in your mouth irish yes irish and garage 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 yes your tongue is moving around in your mouth right yeah that is called the post alveolar fricatives yes next one <clears throat> yeah glottal fricatives is glottal fricatives it is a h so here i am showing in your in the picture that what is a glottal glottal yeah place of articulation of this consonant is glottal yes these are this articulation is called the glottal the air passes through the glottis the air passes through the glottis narrowing between the vocal floats 
focal faults produces the friction noise examples head head air passes through the glottis right yeah air is passing through your glottis not through your mouth or not through your tongue or not not through your teeth the air is passing through the glottis right when you pronounce head yes head yeah you are passing through the air uh, with the help of the glottis and a head a head nothing but ma when you pronounce yourself so then you can feel it when we are pronouncing ourselves so then we can feel it that the air passing through which the glottal uh, glottal or uh, post alveolar fricatives or alveolar prefricatives the air is passing which through so you can feel it when when you will pronounce so then you can feel it once twice no don't stop uh, pronouncing only one time twice try to pronounce twice so then you can get uh, yeah with in from which te deni dwara mir help teesukoni pronounce chestunnaru right yeah yes next yeah play house play house play house you are not taking any help just you are pronouncing with the help of the glottal and uh, air also passing through the glottal itself head head a head play house right you are not taking the help of your teeth i am feeling that because i am pronouncing right so then i am feeling that uh, from which part the air is passing away right and also uh, in your textbook ma uh, he had given a activity that look at the following words pronounce them aloud and check your pronunciation with the help of your teacher so then he in 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 your textbook he have given some examples so all the examples ma all the nine fricative examples so then pronounce it and then uh, what to call identify it that in which it will come in which fricatives it will come right flower 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 surf surf sa sound you are giving and volvo 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 and path thief valve and tick panther yeah so a lot of the examples are there in your in your textbook so then you can read it in your text and then it would be helpful to you helpful for you so fricatives are nothing but ma fricatives are nothing but consonants and that are formed by the impending the flow of air in the vocal apertures so that a friction sound is produced and this means that an active articulator lower lip lower teeth rich and tongue and a passive articulator upper lip upper teeth rich and upper palate are brought so close to each other leaving only a narrow gap through which the air passes through creating an audible friction fricatives may be voiced sound produced when the vocal cords vibrate or voiceless sound produced when the vocal cords do not vibrate fricatives are the two types all total fricatives are nine ma there are the nine english fricatives are there from that nine english fricatives yeah voiced and also voiceless so you have to divide the voiced and also voiceless so from that nine there are the f and v and th and also th s z and sh sound and zh sound and h sound so these all are the nine phonetics fricatives are linked with the phonetics mom in the english phonetics are very important to learn because in the telugu and hindi without ottulu telugu lo hindi lo ottulu lekunda manam uh, sentences kaani words words kaani form cheyalem nanu right ela aithe alaga telugu lo hindi lo ottulu lekunda manam sentences kaani words kaani form cheyalemo same as it is in the english also 
ఇంగ్లీష్లో కూడా ఫొనిటిక్స్ లేకుండా వర్డ్స్ కానీ సెంటెన్సెస్ కానీ మనం ఫామ్ చేయలేము రైట్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ చైల్డ్హుడ్ నేర్చుకున్నారు కావచ్చు బట్ ఇన్ దీస్ వాట్ కల్ దట్ ఇన్ 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 దీస్ డిగ్రీ లెవెల్ దిస్ డిగ్రీ స్టేజ్ మస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు లెర్న్ ద ఫొనిటిక్స్ కంపల్సరీ రైట్ సో ద ఫొనిటిక్స్ ఈజ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ యువర్ దీస్ స్టేజ్ మా ఇట్ ఇట్ విల్ హెల్ప్ ఇన్ యువర్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఆల్సో ఫ్యూచర్లో కూడా మీకు బాగా హెల్ప్ చేసేది ద ఫొనిటిక్స్ రైట్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ వితౌట్ ఫొనిటిక్స్ ఇంగ్లీష్ కూడా ఫొనిటిక్స్ లేకుండా లేదు సో ఇన్ దట్ ఫొనిటిక్స్ ఆల్సో యూ హ్యావ్ ద డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ పార్ట్స్ రైట్ ఆల్రెడీ యూ హ్యావ్ లెర్న్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ సెమ్ దట్ ద కన్సోనెంట్స్ డిప్థాంగ్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో మోనోఫ్థాంగ్స్ బట్ ఇన్ యూర్ సెకండ్ సెమిస్టర్ ఇన్ దిస్ స్టేజ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద ఫ్రికేటివ్స్ ప్లాసివ్స్ అండ్ ఆర్టికులేషన్స్ అండ్ నాజల్స్ దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఫొనిటిక్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు లెర్న్ అండ్ అందుకే కంపల్సరీగా ఫొనిటిక్స్ నేర్చుకోండి right so this is the fricatives today i'm ending this it is completed so i'm ending this fricatives part 2 i'm lavanya lecturer in english from giraj government college nizamabad thank you